Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification when we post new video on a channel. And if you have missed my previous videos, you can find links in the description box. In this video, you will learn Basic features of MSA Ultima X5000 What do we need in calibration kit in order to do calibration of MSA Ultima X5000? And how to do calibration of MSA Ultima X5000? Let's start with basic features of MSA Ultima X5000. MSA Ultima X5000 has an organic OLED display which is capable of being seen from a distance of more than 50 feet or 15 meter. Ultima X5000 does not require any tools or third-party devices to change settings, reset alarms or perform any maintenance feature. Ultima X5000 comes with EZ touch button. And it works well with bare fingers or with gloved hands, so long as the gloves are not black. The Ultima X5000 can be ordered with Bluetooth communication. User can access the device by using XS Connect app on smartphone and tablet. The Ultima X5000 has dual sensing feature. It means that device is capable of communicating with and displaying information for two sensors at a time. Ultima X5000 comes with TrueCal sensing technology for CO and H2S electrochemical sensors. TrueCal saves time and money by doing the hard work for you. The Ultima X5000 comes with patented safe swap technology, which allows users to change or replace XL sensors without needing to power down the instrument. Now, what do we need in calibration kit in order to do calibration of MSA Ultima X5000? First of all, we need suitable concentration calibration gas bottle. For example, if device span is set for 50% lower explosion limit, we need to use 50% lower explosion limit of methane gas bottle. Secondly, we need gas regulator. Lastly, we also need small Tigon tube. In this section, you are going to learn about finger calibration of MSA Ultima X5000. As you can see from the picture that, press left side or down button one by one to scroll down in menu function. Scroll down in menu until you see calibration option. When you see calibration option on the screen, press right hand side or enter button. In calibration menu, you can see two options. First option is calibrate, and second option is zero calibration. If you want to do only zero calibration, select zero calibration option by pressing left hand side button twice, and press right hand side button to start calibration. In this example, we want to do full calibration. So, select calibrate option and press right hand button to start calibration. As you can see from the picture that, sensor selection screen will appear. So, if you have connected more than one sensor, select sensor which you want to calibrate. In this example, we are going to calibrate sensor number 1. So, select sensor 1 and press right hand side button. When you see apply zero gas on the screen, apply the zero gas to sensor. And if there is no target gas in the atmosphere around the sensor, you do not need to use zero gas in this case. Zero calibration will occur in open to air. As you can see from the picture that, screen will toggle between zero in progress and measured value of zero gas, which is zero. At this time, be patient, and wait till zero calibration pass or zero calibration fail message appears on the screen. As you can see from the picture that, if zero calibration is passed successfully, zero cal pass will display on the screen for a few seconds. After this, screen will display apply span gas. 
When you see apply span gas on the screen, apply the span gas to sensor. Here, make sure that you apply correct concentration gas to device. For example, if device span is set for 50% lower explosion limit, apply 50% lower explosion limit methane gas to sensor. As you can see from the picture that, display will toggle between span and progress and measured value of methane gas. Device will take value automatically, once value will stabilize. At this point, be patient, and wait till value stabilized. As you can see from the picture that, remove gas will be displayed on the screen, if span calibration is complete. So, turn off the gas flow and remove the tie gun tube from sensor at this time. After this, device will show as found and as left measured value. Here, as found value is 50% lower explosion limit. It means that, device span is set for 50% lower explosion limit. And as left value is 49% lower explosion limit. It means that measured value is 49% lower explosion limit. At the end, if span calibration is passed, span cal pass will display on the screen for few seconds. After this, calibration status screen will be displayed. Now, zero and span calibration is done. So, select home option by pressing left hand side button at once, and then press right hand side button to go back in measurement mode. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you really like this video. Please give me your valuable feedback in comment box. It will really help me to improve my channel content.